Stasis here and today we're playing some more Skyrim Endor. Don't forget if you like the videos hit the like button and subscribe for more. So um, yeah we were on our way into camp if you remember to position a silver plate in the Naramese encampment. Um, and if you remember right I wasn't sure that we were going to be able to do this but hey let's go. It also doesn't show on the map uh, where we need to go. So I am a little bit confused. Jasper is behind us, but he's kind of stopped following. Jasper. Come on, mate. Okay, I don't know what's going on, but I'm gonna head this way. In the hope that I'm going the right way. I don't... Where am I got to get to? Up there, I think. So... And if they refuse, then it means war. The gods have befouled the world with their ignorance. Oh, okay, enough. we have magic. Well, I have magic too. Uh, okay, uh, since it's just as bugged out, I don't know if this is going to work, but I am going to try. Whoa, whoa, whoa. This isn't going well. Okay, our blood axe is doing a good job here. That was a bit intense. Ooh, how cool is that as a shield? Okay. Still don't know where Jasper is. My uh, carrot and cheese wheels, they're all good for food. And another carrot. Yeah, I think, let's see if we can unbug Jasper because uh, I get the feeling we're not gonna be able to do this without him. There is like a saber cat hanging out near him that's also a little bit buggy. So maybe that's stopping him from moving. Oh, there was. Oh, it's over there now. Jasper. The scar. Well, let's put it this way. Never heard of it. It's the capital of. See Arrangel. if we can get him to move. Hands up. Some rich snob. Since you're part of the assassination. Anyway, obviously this job of mine originated from that feud. <sighs> Correct. In any. And of Come course, on, Jasper. I just need you to move. I'm hoping boring, that this might. In your head in the wrong situations. Oh, what? But anyway, how does the saying go? A truly beautiful face can never. Facts remain facts. Okay. Has that worked? No. Huh? Jasper, come on. What about if I pull this saber cut into him? There we go. That made him spring into action. Panther, sorry, even. Is that unstuck him? Uh, let's go with that. Come on then, Jasper. Nope, that didn't unstick him. Okay. 
Guess we're on our own. Okay, well, I don't know how well this is gonna go, but we're gonna try. I also don't know where I'm going because the quest has kind of decided not to show me. Just kind of gonna hope that this is the right way. I have to search for another way into the camp, okay. Wow. It would seem odd that there's a little lit up path in this direction, so. Oh, so if I go through a door, it might reset Jasper from whatever it is that he's doing. Oh. I didn't notice the dead person on the floor, to be honest. It's not good. What is that? A dead lock. Oh, there's a spider. Urchin child who just won't stop struggling. Oh wait, is is the spider the high one? It says bear. It's not a bear. It's a spider. It doesn't know that, right? Indeed. What do we want? You amuse us, you know. Oh, there's the bear, I see. How you refuse to give up. Oh. How you keep on fighting, even though deep down you know your struggle is futile. But still, you have come a long way. You have ignited the sigil stone, and you have found the beacon. And this, urgent child, this amuses us. Because nothing is more entertaining than the harvest which fights back. It makes things so much more exciting. Thanks, I so think. here's our offer, Politus. <laughs> Ask us whatever is on your mind, and we swear to answer truthfully. Or you can leave. It's up to you. Why, why would you let me ask you a question? This is weird. Um, let's ask about the machine. That seems like the most relevant question, right? It's just what you think it is. A weapon that allows you to bring an end to all this. Fear, hate, joy. You assume we are thinking in human terms, Prophetus. Yet, a true deity is more than a simple human able to throw fireballs as your late lifeborn were. The true God is a state of being, and its existence alone forms reality according to its will. There were so many before you, and so many have found the weapon, yet still we exist, and the cleansing is imminent. What does this tell you? That you lot are cray cray? <laughs> Um, I'm just gonna say that one. Talk is not a choice, but a consequence. But the fact that you are too limited to understand this doesn't surprise us. Very well. Now, Shu, continue your base. I don't think they're really helping me here. Forgive us for the pain. Now. 
What do you mean now? What? What? My lord, she is awake. Splendid. May I introduce you? To your left, there's Samael, my bodyguard, master of Ostium's arena for decades. And to your right, there's Blade Master Alma Sordan, the most gifted sword fighter of Nerim's North. Why are you and introducing me? I can't Kutsu. see. Furthermore, there's an entire garrison of elite soldiers outside. So, can I trust you to not do anything stupid? I want to talk to you, face to face, as civilized people do. <laughs> oh, I just love civilized people, especially when they start conversations by knocking someone down, tying them up and blindfolding him. <laughs> no, not really. By the way, we have captured your friend as well. He's in a oh, I wonder what happened to him. And we will compare your stories, so you'd better stick to the truth. Samael, take off the blindfold. Well, that's well, what I can then. see. I am Taranor of Corex Blood, former ruler of Kaviat, and now representative of the free peoples of Nerim, which you undoubtedly already knew. Who are you? <laughs> the free peoples of Nerim? <laughs> um... Yeah, I'm actually going to say that. That is who we are, yes. The civil war is over, and Nerim is once again united, free of tyranny and false gods. We don't follow a monarch anymore, and we do not pray to any idols, unlike people in this country. But we digress. Who are you? Okay. I see. And who sent you? And why? Shall I be truthful? Or shall I just lie? Do you know what? Lying doesn't usually get you anywhere. This may drop me in like a load of rubbish, but I'm going to be truthful. Just as I suspected. And how exactly? Of course. We have taken the liberty of stripping you of your belongings. If you'll excuse me for a moment, please. Again? I'd like to have those back, please. A oh. silver plate. I see. They were sent to spy on us. Then let's kill them. No. She was honest. <gasps> see, look. I am a man of my Being own. honest works. And actually... Hmm. Actually, you have done us a favor. We can use the plates to present a Ranthiel with our offer, without putting ourselves in danger. What? How? What are these plates? Old artifacts of the Pyrians. Their magic works like a sort of ear conch. Sounds are transferred from one plate to the other. And I strongly suspect that at this very moment, Taylor Aranthiel and Narathsel's traitorous heirs are gathered around the counterpart, waiting for someone to activate this plate, aren't they? Samael, do you know how to use these plates? Excellent. Then activate it. I will talk to old Aranthiel. Let's hope that he will listen for once in his life. Otherwise, this will end in disaster. This is fun. Teolor Aranthiel. I know that you are there and that you can hear me. So why don't we just stop playing games? As you wish, Grandmaster. You can keep quiet, but you should be aware of who's going to pay for your arrogance. Haven't you had enough war by now? After two decades. Two decades of war that were necessary because your god suppressed the people. Or would you deny even this? Is that why you wanted to talk to me, Quarek? To throw around accusations? No, no, that's not what I wanted. We are talking because I want to give you a chance. We know that you are fighting the High Ones, and that you're trying to reconstruct the Beacon in order to stop them. So just help us. Which makes perfect sense, since the cleansing means the end of all life. 
Don't you agree? Ah, no, I don't. And have you even remotely understood who the High Ones actually are? What they represent, you wouldn't either. They are evolution. The ascendants oh, of humanity. Oh, really? Come on. Higher level. <laughs> what? Let's just face the facts for a moment. There's no evidence that the cleansing, whatever shape it will take, will be violent. Really? They've told yes, us they're the gonna burn us. Aliens are gone, but how do we know they've not just simply gone to another place? Oh, that they've really? Transformed. Come on, dude. The high ones are not our enemies, Aranthiel. They are the next step of evolution, the envoys of our purpose. That we might become more than the simple-minded creatures we've been during the past millennia. This is what the cleansing actually is. Don't you understand? It's the moment when humanity is relieved of its vices, united, reaching a higher level of existence. You. That's absurd. To you, it might sound that way, but I have seen it with my own eyes. Ever since the gods departed, the High Ones have sent me dreams in which I can see the future, and it's glorious. It's not our destiny to stay human, Aranthiel. With their help, we will be gods, true oh, gods, not the They've got in your head. Worshipped. They're making it's you the believe truth. things that aren't you true. Accept it or not. Your <sighs> armor's cool, though. People are dying, Kuarek. There's war all over Veen. The dead are rising from their graves, and people are killing each other for no apparent reason. Whatever you have dreamed, does this look like some kind of ascension to you? I know about the Red Madness, but has it ever occurred to you that it follows a pattern as well? That it only befalls certain people? Whom? People whose thinking is in shackles. People whose minds are not free, and who are superstitious and ignorant. Such as the people in your country, to whom you have denied the truth about their gods. What? Are you saying that the Red Madness only affects religious people? People who still believe in the light form. Yes. Religiosity is a pattern of thought that favors rationality over reason. Someone who thinks in these patterns is simply not ready for the advancement, and the red madness is simply a way to sift them out. A natural selection, if you will. That's also why you are not affected by it, Aranthiel. Because you know that what you and your order fought so hard to keep up over the years were lies. This is nonsense. There have been cases of Red Madness in the Order, too. And we have seen what the cleansing will bring us in the dreams and in their chronicles. And it has nothing to do with some kind of ascension. Just listen to yourself, Korik. You talk like a mad prophet. Is that what you want to be? Ah, you react just as I expected. Very well, then. Will you at least hear our offer? Speak. The cleansing has to happen, and we, the free peoples of Nerim, will make sure that it does. We will not allow your backward thinking to keep humanity from advancing, as it has done for centuries. Oh dear. Therefore, if you don't want a war, you will stop rebuilding the beacon, and you will tell your people the truth about their gods, so that then they, too, can ascend when the time has come. You've said it yourself, Aranthiel. This world has had enough war. Spare it yet another one. <laughs> I would if I could. But if these are your demands, then no. Then we will have to force you. This means bloodshed, Aranthiel, and innocence will die. And all because... This conversation is over. Bloody fool. Well, you're a crazy person. Alma, prepare the attack. He asked for it. Yes, my lord. What will happen to the prisoners? The spies. Right. We're at war now, and this means you're my enemies. But as I said, I am a man of my word, and so I'll leave your fate to chance. Samael, put her to sleep, and then put her and her friend on a raft. If they survive, so be it. If not, fair enough. Oh, I'm going on a boat trip again. This would be nice. Hi! 
I could do with a nap. I'm not on a raft, I'm at the beginning. Interesting. Oh no. I have to go and talk to my creepy father again. Oh. Oh. Okay. Oh, this, this is never nice. I'm probably half dead on a raft somewhere then, because usually I have these dreams when there's crazy stuff going on, so. Oh, hi again, Dad. Well, well, look who's here. Oh, he How looks doing, different. Silly? Still on the search? Is that so? Honestly, I find that a little hard to believe. But, okay. Uh, I guess you know what you're doing, don't you? This is weird. You always did. Come on, let's go inside. I prepared a little surprise. Or should I say a big one? I suppose that depends on how you look at it. <laughs> okay. Things are going to get real creepy, aren't they, right about now? And the sky's going red. Okay. This place is creepy. Okay, there's people at the table that don't have faces. Da, They've got da, da, da. bags on their heads. Look who I dug out. It's mother and little sister. Okay. Aren't they beautiful? Aren't we beautiful? Aren't we beautiful? This is just a bit weird. But I suppose what we dead people do doesn't concern you now, does it, my child? Because you are important now. Okay. Can you believe Creepy it? Creepy picture She's on the wall. She's important. She is chosen. 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 But you know, I think you've forgotten something. Amidst all this ballyhoo of prophecies, cleansings. I don't even want to look at you. You're scaring me. That you are weak. You keep telling you me this. Pathetic. You are worthless. And you are weak. That's what you were back then. That's what you are now. And that's what you'll always be. Saving lives? You? Ridiculous. But then again, maybe we do you wrong. Where, where so are you going? Why don't you just tell us? Why you? Why should you, of all people, be the solution to the problem? Why should you be able to prevent something that has happened to mankind for thousands of years? You. Um. That's right. You don't know. Because you are a stupid, dirty brat. A murdering stupid brat and nothing else. That's nice. See, you did it again. You made me unhappy. You made me curse. And cursing is a sin. Don't you understand? Okay, I'm everyone's only in trying to again. help you to see. This is not you, don't you understand? You are not yourself. And deep down inside, you know it as much as I do. You know it. You know it. So, tell me, Silly. Why is it so hard for you to just let go? Your place is here, in the realm of the dead. Am I actually really dead? So just, just let yourself fall. It only hurts in the beginning, you know? Then it's like falling asleep. Please, my child. <laughs> we miss you so much. Little sister wants to play with you again. I don't want to play. The two of us, we could go hunting again, like back in the old days. Find ourselves a nice deer, and then have a good, juicy piece of meat for dinner. Do you even listen to me? Hey, you're not supposed to leave yet. You're already here. So why don't you just stay? I, I don't want to stay. Stay with us. 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 Stay with me. No thanks. Stay with me. Hey, can you hear me? Wake up. Ben.
Bad dreams? Oh, we're on a boat, not a raft. Oh, this is cool. Hmm. Can I just stay here? Anyway, it's over now. Now we're lucky we woke up at all. That raft Korak put us on was about as seaworthy as a paper ship. But thank the sun, that fisherwoman over there took us in. She's headed for Duneville, and we should arrive soon. A couple of hours. That spell Korak's mute buddy put on you must have been quite a doozy. They felt the blow to the back of the head would suffice for me. Guess I was the lucky one. Yeah, yeah. tell me about it. That guy should really go easier on the bottle, if you ask me. But it seems that the thousands who follow him see things differently. As if the High Ones alone weren't threat enough. Now they have a self-proclaimed messiah to back them up. That's just peachy. Okay. I'm afraid so. According to the Fisherwoman, the first of Korak's battleships have already arrived near Duneville. It'll take them a while to get the rest of their fleet over here from Naren, but still. Enderol isn't ready for this. Not at all. Most guards haven't tried their weapons on anything other than training dummies. Or at the most, bandits. In other words, we're screwed. <laughs> really? <laughs> well, I guess first of all, we should be grateful we made it out alive. I bet that if Korak would have known your role in all this, we'd be as dead as doornails by now. Once we arrive in Duneville, we should get back to Ark as soon as possible. I'm sure Arenthiel and the others have already written us off as dead. I suggest you ask the fisherwoman how much farther it is to the village. Okay, I'll do that. Well, I suppose, first of all, I'll go get my pay. Regardless of what transpired, we fulfilled our mission. After that, I don't know. War is an entirely different story. And ending up beaten to a pulp with a damned warhammer certainly isn't on my priority list. Maybe. The Order might be powerful here in Enderal, but compared to Nerim's army, it's a joke. And maybe... <sighs> On the other hand, if we don't manage to stop the cleansing from happening, it won't make a difference if I'm here or on Calais. Not really. Oh, my. What did I get myself into? I feel like a bloody marionette in a goddamn play. <laughs> uh... Let's go with this one. It is. Even though the Kille Beach would probably be better for my health than joining your cause. Enemy invasions, mysterious corpses. You seem to attract trouble wherever you go, as we've seen more than once now. You know, there's one thing I just couldn't get out of my head since all this started. Does mankind deserve to be saved? I mean, have we as a species really made this world a better place? What have we accomplished apart from bloodbaths and wars in the name of the true gods or the right way to see things? And even now that we have a common enemy, we fail spectacularly to pull together. That's pathetic somehow, isn't it? Just pathetic. <sighs> Heck, I sound like the biggest cynic alive. Let's stop here before it gets any worse. Go talk to the fisherwoman. Well, just where I'd still like to live. <laughs> You're really curious, aren't you? But yes, there is something that troubles me, apart from the obvious. It's my sister. Why? Well, I told you that we haven't talked much since, you know, since the thing with our family happened. A couple of moons before we met, I wanted to change that, and I went to see her at the League of the Apothecary in Frostcliff Mountains. But she was gone, just like that, and no one knew where she went. Oh. It's been troubling me for quite some time now. It's probably nothing, but still, I'm worried. Okay. Um, this is a very nice boat. Just saying. Oh, I got all my stuff back. That's handy. Ah, you're awake. How are you? No offense, but you look battered. Yeah, that's me. You look like an uh, old lady on a boat as well. Me. I only did what every other path abiding citizen would have done as well. Your friend. He told me about the Naramese. War. I have trouble believing it. Oh no, he's right. Huh. From your lips to Malthus's ears. Those bloody Naramese. Nothing is sacred to them anymore, is it? For millennia there was peace between the lands of the civilized world. And now this. They're heretics, if you ask me. No more and no less. They should be hung from trees, all of them. Anyway, I guess it's best if you rest a little more. As I said, you look as though you need it. I'll wake you up when we arrive. 
Well, that's nice of you, thank you. I will do our best. I didn't think I'd ever say this, but right now I'd give a lot for the art guard to be here instead of these Doonville watchdogs. At least they know how to wage a war. <sighs> In any case, you should get back to the Sun Temple Why's as soon as possible. Why's everyone got black eyes? And show those Naramese bastards whose country this is. We will. And again, thanks for your help. Don't mention it. So, we should be back within range of the teleport runes. I'm gonna head straight back to the temple. See you there. Okay. So I've got to go back to the sun temple, is that what you're saying? Yes. Do I have a teleportation thing? Um, I do! Good for me. that work? Uh, I think it did. Here we go. Okay, to the Sun Temple. Thanks. Said something about searching for Kalia as well, but oh my. she doesn't appear to be Don't here, so. Younger. But that's ridiculous. We have to at least try to negotiate. You know his demands. There's no basis for negotiation. Hi, just dropping in. He has in. not seen what we have seen. The writings, the memories of the prophetess. If he just realized... My dams, my sirs. Shit. What took you so long? And where is Constantine? That's a long story. Oh, he's there. I was like, where is he? <laughs> Those were his final words. I... I can't believe it. Simply another victim of the High Ones. If we do not activate the beacon soon, he won't be the last. Oh, right. The beacon. If it's activated, we'll simply glow the red madness away, won't we? Or maybe we could, for once in all this, do something that actually makes sense and focus our resources on finding an alchemistical or thaumaturgial solution to this problem rather than trusting in a pile of scrap metal. Oh, by the prophet's ass, won't you just shut up for a minute? All day long you do nothing but babble, getting on our She's nerves. the swearing one. <laughs> she can't help us. So why don't you just shove off to one of the bathhouses? Go torture the washerwomen with your never-ending lamentations. That would be helpful for a change. You will take that back. Will I? Uh-oh. Come here and make me. I'd be delighted. Blasphemy. God, your this tongue, is blasphemy. Mage, or... or what? Are you going to kill me? That's what you do best. You and your fucking order. Silence. Okay, guys. You are angry, Ishari Pegast. And I understand why. But in the moment you let that anger destroy this alliance, Firespark's sacrifice will have been in vain. Is that what you want? I... Is that what you want? No. No, it isn't. Good. I am tired of this endless bickering. We have a responsibility, and we will fulfill it. Let's go then. Said, Arantio. And how exactly do you think we are going to do that? Without the sources, the beacon is as worthless as a heap of rusty iron. The chroniclers are on it, and they will find the answer. Novice, tell Commander Aaron to join us. We need to plan the defense of the land. You, Prophetess, will speak to me as soon as you have recovered. Now, let us get to work. <laughs> 
So I'm, I just leave. Please, Tilo. Jorik is right. Okay. The sun be praised. You've made it. Constantine. Where is she? You didn't deserve this. It's just not fair. Oh. Yes, but these two. Then none of us are strong enough. Yeah, Constantine wasn't exactly the most approachable fellow. <laughs> no, we can't. He's a damn skilled mage. I. I have to talk to you as soon as possible. It's about the seal in that letter we found on the mercenaries um, in old Rationgrad. Excuse me, dude, you're being very rude. Their client is from Indoral. From Ark, to be more precise. Let's not talk here, though. Meet me in the Dancing Nomad. I'll be in the first room upstairs, right at the end of the staircase. Oh, I could go to the pub. And hurry. Well, why do you think? Come to the Dancing Nomad after you've spoken with Aranthio. See you there. Okay. Oh, I can't talk to him here. Where is he going? Talk to him at the beacon. I don't know where the beacon is, so I'm just going to follow him. wear this armor anymore either like it's very cool and stuff but i'd like some new stuff so maybe we'll get some new stuff i don't know i'm gonna go down the other side of the stairs so that he doesn't get stuck is that Kalia? no walk blessed thanks where's he going out that door Um, where did he go? Is he already up here? Did it just, like, fix itself? Is the beacon up here? Oh, oh, I see, they've put it up here. We haven't been up here before. Let's go talk to him. Irrelevant. This madman. Koarek. He has completely reshuffled the cards. Now we not only have to deal with the High Ones, but also with him and his fanatics. <sighs> However, there's also good news. You have probably seen it already. Physically, yes. And we also know how it works now, and how it can put an end to the cycle. It is easier than we thought. The beacon was constructed for one thing, to destroy the High Ones. Once reconstructed, infused with energy and activated, lit as the Pyrenees called it, it can banish the High Ones from this plane of existence. Immaterial, indeed. Essentially, they can be compared to the cold or to shadows. Omnipresent elements, yet we cannot touch them. Energy, if you will. However, there is a counterpart to each energy. Cold and fire, shadow and light, the High Ones and the Beacon. Yes. Imagine a torch cool. driving away the darkness in the moment it is ignited. This is what the Beacon can do, except that the banishing will be permanent. Yes, as I said, it needs to be infused with energy before it can be lit. I take it you have noticed the three sockets on its base. They are what it draws its power from. Once they are filled, the beacon can be ignited and the High Ones will be undone once and for all. At least, if the old writings are true. The I was going to say, what are the energy sources then? <laughs> these energy sources are. But we are close. Soul shards? <laughs> some more time and I will let you know if there's any news. In the meantime, get equipped accordingly. Some of the Neremis have landed already, and outbreaks of the Red Madness become more and more frequent as we speak. Okay. No, there are not enough, and we must keep the few there are in our possession, in case anything unexpected should happen. 
The only thing we can do to stop the madness is to destroy the High Ones as soon as possible. Okay. What? Really? That's interesting. Provided this is true, that means that the emissaries aren't just people who fight the cleansing. They are people who fight for it too. And that also means that whoever granted us our powers and our purpose isn't an enemy of the High Ones, but a neutral party. Okay. I beg your pardon. What? And the same goes for me? That's ridiculous. They wanted to deceive you, to sow discord. I saw the threat the cleansing posed before anyone else did. And without me, we would have never come that far. Something changed inside me since I fled from my prison. I feel it. And it is the same thing that made you a part of all this. Now, enough of this. <clears throat> I'm making him mad. I don't even know why I'm making him mad. There's no, there's no need for it. I just, you know, <laughs> why not? <laughs> okay, well, so apparently we've got to go to um, the Dancing Nomad and speak to um, Lashiri. Uh, we've got to find Kalia in the temple. Uh, yeah, there's there's quite a lot going on at the moment. Um, and we need to talk to Nathalia on the dispute that they had. So there's actually quite a few little side quests here. Um, I'm going to leave this video here and we'll catch up with all those bits um, the next time. But thank you so much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed the video. Don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe for more. And we'll see all you guys in the next video. Cheers, guys.